Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I'm Alex and today we're going to be making these Yahtzee 10,000 travel boxes. I'm going to show you how to make them, how much they cost, and how much I sell them for. We're going to just be using one of the four bits to CNC with me. That is our downtown Ginny bit. I designed this product using VCAR from Vetric. I've created all the profiles. They're separate, but I'll export them out as one file so it all cuts at the same time. I've pre-milled up some stock at 6 inches by 16 by 3 quarter of inch. And then I add the downtown Ginny bit to the machine, put on some dual-sided tape, and clamp the piece down. Now it's just to set the machine to home and zero everything out and run the file. The design for this file is available on my Etsy store. You can get the full vCarve project file, including tool paths, on this file, or the STL digital files that you can import into CarveCo or any other application. The downtown Ginny bit makes quick work of this project and it takes about 22 minutes for the project to cut out completely. Using my very fancy and safe router table, I will use a quarter inch roundover bit to add a roundover to the top and bottom of these boxes. Using my Surf Prep 4x3 sander, I'll use the Pro Foam to get off any tool marks from the project. Then out comes the Laser Pecker 2 to add the Yahtzee 10,000 logo that I designed for the front of the boxes. My friend Kara from Andes calls this shoe goo. I'll add this to the box and then scruff up the magnets so that they have good adhesion to the glue, and then use a spray lacquer to finish the project. Three coats of finish with steel wool buffing in between each coat. Then off to the printer to print the scorecards and a quick lamination. All that's left to do is assemble the box. I got some dice off of Amazon, a fine tip whiteboard marker, my scorecard, and then it's off to play the game. These boxes are a great beginner project, good gift you can give somebody, or a great product you can sell at your local craft fair. The walnut I used for this project was something I had laying around the shop, but if you buy S4S lumber, which goes for about $18 a board foot, your total cost for wood would be about $16 for this project. The dice and pen equal about a buck ten, and another $3 or so for consumables. That total cost comes to $19.10. I sell this project for a minimum of $35 at craft fairs, bringing my profit to $15.90. But again, if you use scrap wood or mill your own lumber, you can get that cost down considerably. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you want to support me, please like and subscribe. New videos are every other week.